Hi, in the previous lectures, we've added or we've fixed some issues in our UI using our Python code. Now we can navigate from one button to a, from one tab to another using the buttons. We've also added the main functions or the main methods for our project. And in this lesson, we will connect to our database and we will start adding new books, new categories, and so on. So let's start. First of all, let's open our code. Now we have a method for new book, searching books, and so on. And we have also a method for new user, and so on. So let's complete these methods. Then search connecting to our database, and so on. So this is for settings. We need a function to add category. And we need to find a function to add an author function to add a publisher now let's start coding the add new book method first of all we need to connect this method add new book to this button so here in the push button section I see self dot push button seven dot collect dot connect with self dot add new book and here first of all we need to connect to the database so I'm gonna say self dot db equal to my sql db dot connect and this connect method takes first of all the local host or the host and takes the user takes the password and takes the rib from you so first of all the host is local host the user I type this user when I was installing my SQL I type it root and the password is store and the DB, we, we've just created our database with name of library. So I'm gonna type in here library. So just like this. Now we've connected to our database. We need to create a new cursor so that we can execute queries on the database and so on. So I'm gonna say self dot cur equal to self the db dot cursor. Now we have our cursor. We've just created our database and we have our cursor. Okay. So for adding a new book, first of all, we need to take the information from our UI, from these widgets. So here I'm gonna remove this. You see the book title is line 82. So I'm gonna say book title equal to self dot line edit to the text and we have the book code equal to self dot line three dot text and we need the category So I'm going to say book underscore category equal to self dot combo box dot current text. And if we need to take the index, we can use current index and so on. And we have the author and the publisher is five. Okay. So we will duplicate this using command shift D for control. Control D yeah. So this is four and we will duplicate it also again. And this is five. This is the book author and this is the publisher. And here we need the price.
I go to solve dot. I need for the text. But now we have a simple issue. If we run our app, there is no categories. So if we need to add a new book, there is no categories, no author, no publisher. So first we need to add to 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 code the the way to add a new category to add a new author or publisher and so on. And we need another way to to loop over these categories and add it to our combo box like this. So first of all, let's move down to add a new category, add a new author, and so on. I'm going to take those two lines copy so that we can connect to the database. And here, add new category. Yeah, I'll paste this. And we need to take this is the edit. So I'm going to say category name equal to self so I edit the text and there now we need to execute an insert statement so that we can insert this category name in our database so I'm gonna say self dot cursor dot execute and here I'm gonna type insert then into then we need to add our table name and the table name is category so I'm going to say insert into category and the name of the columns so here we need to run this category we have category underscore name so I'm going to say underscore name and we have values Let's say it all capitalize equal to let's put our format string and here we need to put the value for this so we will see category name. So now we will insert a new value into category name. After adding this, we need to commit this changes in the database. So self db dot commit and we need to print something, so I'm gonna say uh, done. Yeah, something like this. We need to connect this with uh, the new category button. So I'm gonna say here push button. I'm gonna say self dot push button dot collect dot connect to self dot add category yeah so and let's run our code we should see it on when we add a new category I'm gonna say let's see gaming add new category we got an error not all arguments converted during string formatting so we got an error in our Yeah, there and this. Yeah, we need yeah like this because this is a tuple, not a string. So let's try again. Gaming. Let's add a new category. We've got another error. ID category doesn't have a default value. So let's edit this table. Alter table and we need this ID to be auto generated auto increment yeah like this and let's hit apply let's apply this and let's close we need all the ids to be auto increment yeah like this book this id is auto increment day to day operations is auto increment publisher and users alter table this id is not auto increment and so let's hit apply apply close and for publisher also for operations for book and for author so for users we did it for a publisher it's already day to day operations sorry we need to alter the table and invoke alter 
alter publisher alter and users alter tuple yeah so for the users it's auto increment day to day operations we need to edit auto increment for book auto increment apply and for author it's not auto increment so we need to edit so now we modified all of them let's close these steps and now let's run our app again go to settings add gaming let's hit add new category we've got done and if we right click on category and short the first 1000 row we can see gaming so now we've added a new category now we need to add a new author so here and instead of this print I'm gonna use something more stylish I'm gonna say self dot status status bar dot show message and I'm gonna say new new category edit and let's run and if we here added a new category to our let's see let's see drama do we hit add new category we can see new category edit this is awesome now we need to add let's review all the categories in our database we should see two categories drama and the gaming good now we need to add a way for adding a new author so first of all I'm gonna take all of this code copy and for an add author I'm gonna paste all of this but first of all this is the author name and this author name came from this line edit and we need to add those information in the author authors if we show the first and the author name so the, the name of the table is authors and this is author name and this value is the author name and you're gonna see new author added and we will do the same for the publisher so we will take all of this and we will add all of this here so let's remove this basis yeah so here the publisher the name of the table is publisher and the name of this publisher name so here I'm gonna say publisher publisher name and this name is publisher and this column is publisher name and we need to take this publisher from this line edit 21 so now we added add publisher add category and add author so now we need to connect to, to the, the two of this function to so those buttons add new author so here in the buttons I'm gonna say self dot push button dot collect dot connect self dot add add author and I'm gonna duplicate this line with this button add new publisher Just add publisher yeah like this so now we can add new category new publisher and a new author let's go here let's add a new author I'm gonna say my name add new author we got new author added and then the publisher if we type I'm gonna say uh, 
if I added add new publisher, I got another error. ID publisher does not have a default value. So in the database, we need to change and the publisher alter this table. And this ID needs to be order increment. Apply, apply, then close. And here in our code, we need to change this to new publisher. New publisher edit. So now we need to add a new publisher. When you see, let's see, add, we've got new publisher edit. So let's see our database. If we show the first rows, we can see the, the name of the new publisher. And for author, if we preview, we have the new author. So now we can add new category, new author, and a new publisher. We need to show this information in this table and we will do this in the next lecture then we will move to our books and so on see you next lecture